In this prelims edition, let us understand about Guru Ravidas and the Ravidasya community. So firstly, why is this in news? This is because the Election Commission of India postponed the elections because of this community who would go to Varanasi to celebrate the anniversary of Guru Ravidas. So they would not be in the state to actually participate in the most important principle of voting of elections. Therefore, we see that the election commission being considerate and further postponing their elections. Now, who is who are these Ravi Dasya community? Let us understand first who is the Ravi Dasya community. Now, this is a Dalit community. Which has nearly 12 lakh population in Punjab. So there is a region called Duab where this particular population is there, is inhabiting. So in this particular, they are the followers of Guru Ravidas and they were going to Varanasi, say about the 16th century, which is the anniversary, the birth anniversary of this particular saint, Guru Ravidas. So a little background of this particular community if you talk about is it started with Dera Sachkand Balan. So Balan, Dera Sachkand Balan, it's like a group, a community who has around 20 lakh followers all around the world. So what happened is in the year 2010, they severed their ties with Sikhism. So they said, we will not be related to Sikhism, but we will follow our own religion. So what was that religion? It was the Ravi Dasya religion. That is based on the teachings of Guru Ravi Das. So here we see that now they started their worship. So firstly, they were using Guru Granth Sahib. This is the religious texts of the Sikhs. So this was replaced by Amrit Bani. So Amrit Bani. So how now we have the Dera Sachkan Balan having the adopted the religion Ravi Dasya religion and now they are replacing the Sikh holy religious book that is Guru Granth Sahib to Amrit Bani which has 200 hymns it's a compilation of 200 hymns of Guru Ravidas. So now we talked about a lot about this Guru Ravidas. Let us understand who was Guru Ravidas. So Guru Ravidas was a 15th, 16th century saint. He was a Bhakti saint in this time period. And he is also said to be the disciple of Ramananda and we know the other disciples of Ramananda like Kabir right so here we have Ramananda so therefore he, you could say he's a contemporary of Kabir again a very important Bhakti saint during this particular time period so here Guru Ravidas was belonging to a poor family. He belonged to a cobbler family. So he faced a number of atrocities like the low caste that used to face during those times. So he propagated or advocated equality. He advocated equality during those times. He said that the dominion of the Brahmins should not be there in the society. Everyone is equal. And here we see he again worshipped or advocated the omnipresence of God. So based on the teachings we can say he followed omnipresence of God. That is God is everywhere and the human soul is a particle of God. The human soul is a particle of God. Therefore again focusing on that everyone is equal and again rejecting duality that is we are a part of God we are a part of the Brahma further he had an inception of 
Begum Pura. So he had created an inception saying that Begum Pura, that means having a city without sorrows. This was his idea to have city without sorrows. And he further rejected the idea that the low caste cannot meet God, which was actually practiced or which was believed during those times. So therefore, an important saint that we have, Guru Ravidas and his followers that were called as Ravi Dasya community that was followed and the religion that they followed was Ravi Dasya religion. Further, we also see that an important disciple during his times was Mirabai. So she was an important disciple of Guru Ravidas. Now, do we have sources of Guru Ravidas? This, do, do we have his works given somewhere? Yes, in the important Sikh works that we have. Firstly, his poems are mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib. We also has, have his works or his mentioned in the Adi Granth. So this was compiled by Guru Arjun Dev, the fifth Sikh Guru. We also have it mentioned in Panchwani. So his works, his poems mentioned in these important books, holy books of the Sikhs. Now let us understand how much you have understood by solving this particular question. So the question is, consider the following statements regarding Guru Ravidas. The first statement he was a disciple of Ramanuja. Second, his works are mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib. Which of the above statements is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. Or D. None of the above. Take a moment, pause the video and then answer the question. So let us see the answer. The first statement about Guru Ravidas. Was he a disciple of Ramanuja? No. He was not a disciple of Ramanuja. Ramanuja was way before. Here we have, he was a disciple of Ramananda. He was a disciple of Ramananda. So therefore, the first statement is wrong. The second statement, his works mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib. Now, this is a correct statement and we saw that his other works that are mentioned that is in Adi Granth as well as we see in Panchwani. So therefore we say the second statement is true and the question is asking about the correct statement. So answer to this is B. 2 only. 